Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in this video I will be solving interview, SQL interview queries with y'all. I'm going to solve 5 queries and each query will come in one single video. So in this video I will solve one query. So these are interview questions and you can expect something similar to be asked in your interview as well. So let me give a brief overview of what you can expect in this video and in the coming videos. Also, if all the five videos are up on the channel, you will find the links to those videos in the description box or in the comment section. If not, stay tuned, wait for it. The videos are coming. Stay patient. So yeah, uh, let me give you an overview. So this is the entity diagram. So these are all the tables and I'm going to show you all the kind of data that this has. I will give a brief overview of, the, of this as well but for now let me show you all this so there are like five questions five sql questions over here and in each video i will be solving one question so in this video i will be solving this query that's what you can expect in all the five videos so stay tuned and with this i'm going to start with the first query so let me show you all the tables so there are total five tables account balance account type account type underscore d account name and names now as you can see there are lines between them so what this means is these two tables are connected via pk pk means primary key and these two are also connected these two are connected and these two are connected and these two are connected. but these two aren't connected these two aren't connected these two aren't connected because there are no lines between them and if you want to see how they are connected, always, rem always remember that PK or FK will be written in brackets. So PK means primary key and FK means foreign key. So between these two tables, what are the common table or common columns that you can find? So if this is account underscore I and account underscore I. So these two are common between the two. And between these two, between these two, what you can find? Account underscore I, account underscore I again is common between these two. And between these two, account underscore type underscore C is common between the two. Between these two, um, first underscore name underscore I and last underscore name underscore I and name underscore I. These are common. So also remember that suppose one is a foreign key and the other is primary key. It does not necessarily mean they will have the same names. They can have different names as well. Between these two, account underscore I is common. Okay, now let's see the tables. This is the account balance table, which has account underscore I means the account numbers, date, and the balance amount. Then we have account type, so account I and then account type underscore C. So these are just letters. Then we have another table, which is account underscore type underscore D. So this has account underscore type underscore C means means these this column, this and this column. These two are common between the two. So between these two tables, account underscore I is common. And between these two tables, account underscore type underscore C is common. As you can see, C, D, H, S, these are common. And they have corresponding descriptions. So C corresponds to credit card, D corresponds to check account, H corresponds to home loan, S corresponds to saving account. Then we have account name. Account underscore I again. This is the primary key. This is the common key between the various tables. We have first name I, last name I. And now you will wonder why we have integers. Why do we have numbers in first name and last name? We have 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4, 7. There should be names. So we have another table at the bottom, which is names. And here we have these numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And these have corresponding names. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is actually 1 means Ross. So Ross, first name is Ross. Then we have 6. 6 is here, which is Carter. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, account number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The name for account number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is, I mean, the account holder is Ross Carter. Okay. So 1, 6, Ross Carter. This is how the tables are interconnected. Okay, so it's little complicated and the questions are also complicated and hence there's a lot of learning involved in these five videos that are going to come. So stay tuned for it and in this video obviously I'm going to solve the first question. The table, tables are quite complicated, they are interconnected and you will understand 
a lot about SQL queries and how to solve them. So do not miss these five videos. I will insist on that. So let's begin with the first question, which is write the SQL statement to show the most recent balance for each account. Our first question is write the SQL statement to show the most recent balance ALN underscore AMT for each account ACCT underscore I. Our two major columns are balance amount and account underscore I. So our first job is to find that in this entity diagram or if you have tables we have to find these two columns in the tables and then try to find the relation between these two columns. As you can see balance amount is here and account is also here good for us because both the columns are in the same table so it's going to get easier for us to write the query now let's go on to the sql editor and write a query this is our table account balance and these are the three columns account underscore i the account numbers the date and the balance amount we need to find the most recent balance Okay, when we say most recent, it means we have to take in account the dates because we have to see how recent it is. So we need to use date. And we need to find the most recent balance. We need to find the balance amount for the most recent month for each account. Okay, had the question been find the most recent balance, just that much, we could have just used max date and gotten the answer but that's not the case we need to find the recent balance for each account which means we need to group our output and whenever we need to group our output there are just a couple of options that we can use one is by using group by the other is by using partitions and in this case we're going to use partitions so let's go ahead and you will get a better idea about the about writing this query okay so i'm going to write rank function and if you do not know how to write rank functions I have a video on that as well I will make sure to link it in the description box trust me it's a very good video where you can understand all variants of rank function easily go watch it and even if you already know rank functions it's good to watch it as a refresher okay so select star comma rank over partition And what am I going to partition by? The account numbers. Why? Because we need the output for each account. We need to partition it by each account. Hence, I'm going to write over here partition by ECCTI. Okay. And then I, I also need to order it. Why? Because my output needs most recent balances. Most recent date comes into picture i need to order it by date and since it needs to be in the most recent manner i have to use vsc and i'm gonna write data where it's actually date underscore i correct and i'm gonna give it an alias and it's gonna be this okay now let's just run it I did not mention the name of the table from account balance. Run it. Here is the output. Now, as you can see, the output this is not the final output. One, two, three, four, five. And then the date is over here, the balance, and the rank over here. One, two, three. And this is the table, by the way. And we only have two accounts which are repeated okay 99824 is repeated twice and two different dates are over there and two different balance amounts are also there and along with that also 23456 23456 23456 there are two different dates and two different balances rest all are just written once so that's definitely going to come in the output but for these two accounts that we have repetitive data for there we will get only the most recent balance 
okay for this for these two accounts only we have ranks at as two also for the rest of them it's one so for two three four five six two three four five six there are two records for two three four five six 31st december 10 december and which is since we order ordered it by date okay 31st december and 10th jan this is going to be the first one because we are ordering it in descending order so this will be one this will be two and this is this is what came also as our rank one and two similarly for 99824 there are two records 31st december 2022 and 11th january 2020 um, it's in the descending order so this will be one this will be two as you can see the ranks that we got were one and two so our output is correct now we just need the most recent one so out of one and two we need one we just need all the ones that's going to be the output what i'm going to do is select star form and i'm going to write where rank balance is equal to one because we need to pick all the records that have rank as one so this is our output we have just one record for each account and the most recent one the most recent one will be our output you can also try the column names over here so account i date underscore i and balance one that's it so this is our final output i hope this was clear this is the first query and we're done with this and four more videos are going to come up for four other interview questions four other sql interview questions so do not miss it they're going to be power packed very informative do not miss it and with this i'm going to end the video here thank you so much for watching this video thank you